Hey there, Service Pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to track your team's time using the built-in clock in, clock out feature in Workies. Let's get right to it. In Workies, there's a few different ways to log time. Clocking into a job from the mobile app, clocking in for the day on the web app and mobile app, and then manually adding or editing hours from the web app. Let's start with the mobile app. Time tracking on the mobile app is designed for your technicians out in the field. Rather than just clocking in at the start of the workday, they clock in right when the job begins, giving you more insight on how much time your team is spending on a job. The first thing we need to do is open the job we're about to start working on. We'll hit the Start button from the Quick Actions menu at the top of the main page, and you'll notice it will automatically start tracking the time spent on the job. To stop tracking time for this particular job, you just need to hit the Stop button, and it'll automatically log the time spent. Now let's head over to the web app so you can get a look at what you'll see after one of your techs logs time on a job. We'll just open up the relevant job and then hit the items tab from within the job page. Scroll down past the line items and you'll see the time their team member logged. Here's a quick tip. You'll only see the time tracking field here after a tech has logged time for a job from the mobile app. Once a team member has logged time for a job, you'll also see the option to manually add more time directly to this job on their behalf. But let's say you've got a bigger company with more team members who don't necessarily work out in the field, but out of an office like your dispatchers and managers. Obviously, those team members wouldn't be logging hours onto a specific job, but instead be clocking in and out in a more traditional way. Those team members can clock in for the day right from the web app on desktop. Just hit the cogwheel in the navigation bar up here, and then hit the clock icon next to your username from the drop-down menu. Next, hit clock in from the pop-up in the middle of the screen. You'll know you're clocked in if the little clock icon is green. You can also clock in this way right from the mobile app. Just hit the hamburger menu in the upper left corner, and then hit the timesheets button. At the bottom of the next screen, hit clock in. Heading back to the desktop app, you can hit the cogwheel again and see that you're clocked in, with that status carrying over from the mobile app. Okay, now that you know how to log all these hours, let's talk about reviewing all of that information. We'll head over to the reports page from the sidebar navigation over here on the left. Go ahead and hit the timesheets report. This report gives you a breakdown of all the hours your team has logged. If it was logged from a job, you'll see the job ID. If it was logged from the settings menu, like when team members are working from an office, there won't be a job ID. You can manually edit any one of these time entries to adjust the time logged or to add a note. You can also manually add a new entry using this button up here. It'll ask you who you want to assign this entry to, as well as some other basic stuff like the date, amount of time, and some notes. The timesheets report lets you filter your results by members of your team or by results with or without job IDs. You can also filter the results by a specific date range using this tool over here. Last, Workies allows you to export the data as a CSV file so that you can use this spreadsheet to easily run payroll using your preferred software. And that's it. That's all you need to know about tracking time in Workies. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.